I have to go to work. <laughs> Me too. My captain and, and Jerry's captain, we're just a sudden we're in the same situation. And I have to help him, and he has to help me. I can't think of any Capitan that could have done what you have done on my side or yours. I can. I'm looking at him. And that is what I think is the film is a lot about, to trust someone. He brings so much heart to the film in a way that character is the heart of the film. And he has such vulnerability in his eyes that you just really feel for him. And I think the scenes, the sort of simple scenes between him and Gerald Butler are some of the, the most beautiful in the film. I risk my men. I risk my ship. I used to court martial. Because it was the right thing to do. And so it really took me back. So, so you have a fascinating idea of these guys in a submarine trying to work out what the hell is going on everybody having different ideas about what that means those that distrust and always want to go into conflict and those that try and think outside of the box and in a different way and 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 see are there other ways to solve these these disputes yeah he's leading us into a dead end captain look at the chart your chart is wrong This passing. Bow stations. Admiral, the Tampa Bay's gone missing just above the Colder Peninsula. Sir, we've got a shootout under the ice. I told Six Fleet you want to hunt to kill him. We've been ordered to cross waters that no American sub has ever crossed before. Submerge the ship. We are witnessing the most aggressive military buildup in Russian history. We've been keeping tabs on the Russian president and his defense minister, Durov. Oh my God. It's a coup. We're dealing with a single rogue minister. What if we could free President Zakari? We rescue the Russian president. We need eyes and ears on the ground. Captain, waiting orders. We're going in with four of our boys and get one Russian president. We need a local navigator. I risk my men, I risk my ship, because it was the right thing to do. This is about our future. If we don't pull this off, go, go, go! it's going to be World War III. You will be court-martialed. Then it's my job to keep you alive long enough so you can testify. Torpedoes in the water! Ship ready! Solution ready! Weapon ready! Five seconds, sir. Fire! Did we just start a war? No. But we might have still been the one. Bow stations. That's a warship. Fire! Race for impact! 